Hello everyone, this is Trafalgar Valentine. How is things going today? Hope everything's okay. Just gonna do another fun little picture. These ones are quite simple that I'm doing, just little fun doodles. Not going to too detail and things. They're just for fun. been listening to a lot of interesting things lately and thought I would share one of them with you and maybe talk about an interesting idea. One of the ones I found is when I listened to Terence McKenna I this short clip called Why Worry About It? I thought it would be pretty interesting and in which he discusses should you be worrying about history and the future and things after all what's happened in history the nine ice ages the meteorite gets hit the wars the people have been killed and stuff it's, sometimes it's difficult to feel that there's actually any hope in history left but McKenna in his open discussion says not to worry about it where a person asks about his time wave theory about what kind of awareness it brings to know the present of history and so which he replies how much it did can enrich your experience to think more into the present of history and as experiences one of the more powerful forms of perception because it's as if it's the data bank sort of of the present moment that's the stage before where you analyze what's going on in things and he makes a correlation of how the current present history is folding and folding upon itself in greater and greater complexity and it makes the example of when you go to a hamburger joint there's the moment where the Roman Emperor of Hadrian attacks Scotland <coughs> excuse me and it's interesting just to think about how much history it's stuck to really get us to where we are now and how much it's actually folded up and how successful it's actually been all these years I mean human history has been through a lot there's been a lot of extinctions and broken down democracies and <coughs> sorry conquer ships and all sorts of things that can really change our culture and yet we're still here there's still a lot of problems of course but we're still very fortunate to hear we're both we're all living pretty much like medieval kings right now and like Terence says when he's the getting a hamburger can be like the Roman century it's as if that moment in history is a reflection of that moment in history in the future so on the time wave theory you would see a, a line that resembles how much novelty and how much habit has been throughout that time and in the present of getting the Hamburg you'll see that same wave novelty being the new ideas and habit being the habitual ideas, the ones that are repeated and he talks about how to see in life things not with a linear past or a fading past or unpredictable fate and future but to th see things more as necessary I prefer to think of it in the lines of Jordan Peterson says is tools and obstacles 
so you're not just thinking about the enamored material objects around you but you're thinking about what they could actually be used for for your not just your motivated conscious existence but also for your subconscious existence as well he explains how much culture and history falls and falls upon itself how it gradually builds up over time and stuff things get greater and greater to a finer and finer point throughout history the invention of communication seems to be the dominating technology at the moment it being progressed from first talking to being able to map that talking into symbols and first on stones then on wood then eventually building up to printing presses writing on parchments and then building printing presses of course then up to media of the tech of the radio the tv and now the internet and it's quite obvious to see throughout history how quickly it's taken us to get from the internet and how much it's speeded up there was a, a greater distance to actually get to writing and the internet has literally just come out within the first 50 years of having television and maybe there'll be a new dominating technology after the internet perhaps it'll be some sort of virtuality where you can actually go inside the internet and that'll be could be in the next easily five ten years probably although it's extremely difficult to actually predict the evolution of technology because it's so fast and especially in the consumer commercial outlet which is the dominating force behind what's allowed to actually be produced as well throughout the culture but once you actually look in the awareness around you you can actually see gives you permission to let go of the anxiety and although things can seem kind of bad at the time I mean from personal views I can see the because I live on the outskirts of England in the countryside well it's starting to be less of the countryside really but I mean I can see the small towns slowly disappearing shops going residentials going industries going um, now the community services are starting to go the fire stations police stations street lighting and eventually all these villages and stuff like that will be completely left away from government and there'll be no additional benefits from them whatsoever all the public transport will soon disappear and stuff and eventually these people will be just be left alone and the ones who stay are the original farmers who grew up on the land and things but this sort of awareness although it does seem kind of going downhill it would also raise awareness to actually make people make more of an effort I think although I know sometimes with the growing destruction excuse me the growing destruction of many of the important things in life such as the rainforests or the extinction of animals I mean the extinction of animals has happened nine times over again and global warming has happened numerous times as well after the meteorites fell and the air filled with such black dust and carbon and but all the animals are extinct no, numerous amounts of times throughout the ice ages and things and we're still here and there's nothing really to worry about and if you want to have a look at the more present view of your history like I said use it in the way of tools and obstacles I mean around me I can see the the chairs that I'm sitting on and the ones around me in this living room that have a history within themselves someone designed them someone might perhaps mass produced them or handmade them I'm not really sure where they came from but they have their own history and now they serve as a, a tool to help me rest my limbs and the television set that I have that has a history within itself and it's now concluded to the development level it is now and the 
laptop that I'm listening to, the pens that I use, everything around me has a successful level of history development and they've gone taken a while but they're finally here I've got everything that I need, I can't really complain about anything and Terence says just to relax and let it watch go by I mean you know some years might be hell even some days might be bad I know for a fact when I work full time that it's hard and it's busy stressful days and things just don't go the way you want them to go but next week it's something different, something new, a new day, a new shift and it just depends on how you want to look at it I mean if you want to complain about day to day do something that will change your day and you don't like the way that maybe something in life's not going well, maybe your job or something like that do something that will go well you know just to give you that confidence to keep on going, a productive hobby or something something that make you gain confidence over time something that can show everyone else that you can develop yourself and you might not just think all oh, this is just a waste of time sometimes but you never know the people you can inspire in that time watching you create things watching you progress over the years if you are an active social person and you start a hobby and you start progressing in it if you don't really mm, dwarf on people on your competitiveness and your with your ego and stuff and people can just watch you develop it, it might inspire some other people and people might remember you and talk about you afterwards about how well you did and stuff and you have no idea at how well or how much you will really change in the history in the future but as long as you keep everything honest and true everything will just be fine even if you didn't have anything or any material possessions the last thing that you can have that people will want to remember you by is just setting a good example for morality of honesty and truth you just stick by that and just go along with your life I mean if you didn't have someone in your life help other people volunteer somewhere make someone else's life easier more happy for them I mean Terence says to add like another dimension to your world so you could basically make everything in your world actually have a purpose have a reason for its existence it doesn't have to be highly motivated towards a a goal that's very unachievable it can just be basically just a, either a productive member of society or just a helpful nice person Don't worry about the future, everything will be fine. Although sometimes it might seem bad, I mean we've recently had the all these terrorist attacks that have happened in these mass shootings and stuff, but honestly these are just little smidges of what's really going to happen. The earth has seen so many things go wrong, so many times burned, and eventually it will all find you into a point. and it will go back up again when new technologies are formed I mean if there was a solution where we could live in space for example where it's just still kind of an outlying dream for some people in the technology departments there will still be problems that would develop throughout the culture throughout people but there should be different problems but we'll work it out and then history will change again and again and again but if you just stay true to yourself everything will be fine you could start up any hobby you want and just get better at it and help inspire others and 
if everyone was like this and we can encourage the people of the future to be more like this you never know the amount of possibilities you could create I recently created a picture where it says art lasts forever and that's kind of interesting to think about how your art will last beyond your lifetime and what can it do for other people and when people know the art from you you'll be remembered for a long time and your immor your immortality will last a lot longer you can live beyond your current lifespan by extending your imagination and keeping it in a materialistic form <laughs> now that's what's left to do is just to figure out what kind of extension of imagination you want to produce and to live inside we'll go back to Terence McKenna again he's become even more popular now on the internet and his ideas are inspiring people and he's chose to continue that existence and now he just lives on the internet he's literally just moved from one body to the next I'll finish up this video guys and probably put a picture of it on Facebook if you want to have a look at the finished product but uh, yeah just think about it think about where you want your future to be and you can decide what it wants to be I mean don't be silly and try to think unrealistic ideas think towards realistic ideas and how you can help thank you See you later.